surrounding UW Green Bay this week. UWGB faculty were told earlier in the week that the school's athletic program has been placed on NCAA probation and has been there for the last two seasons. That was the result of cutting men's and women's tennis and defunding scholarships for Nordic skiing. Now, that latter move was the issue with the NCAA. It has since been corrected. However, the probation is going to continue now for eight more years. Holly Brantley joins us live from the Crest Center after speaking with both the chancellor at the school and the athletic director. So let's just get an idea of what operating under probation means in, in this instance for UWGB, Holly. Well, Chris, all that it really means is that the school has to maintain funding for 14 teams, maintain the funding for 14 teams over the next that next period for the 10 years that the probation lasts up until the 2030 season. So at the time that so what that means is that, 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 that but the school and the students won't really see any difference. Um, they just have to maintain the funding threshold for those 14 teams. As you said, this all started back in 2020. They had 16 teams. They cut men's and women's tennis during the pandemic. And then after that, they cut those tuition waivers for, uh, for Nordic skiing. Now, they've since corrected all of that. So everything is good right now. They have the funding ready going forward. So they should be able to maintain uh, maintain what they need to do under probation and no one should see any difference over that time. All right, Holly, funding, funding, funding. And that's been an issue there uh, with UWGB for a while. They've tried to do some new things this year. They're instituting some new programs to kind of try and raise revenue uh, through the basketball teams, which are their main revenue generating sports. Why the commitment? Why did the gentleman today, well, how did they express their commitment to remaining a division one program? Well, that's really important to both uh, to both Mike Alexander and to Josh Moon. They say that this makes the school more attractive to students, more attractive to athletes. They want to have that Division One experience. They want to play athletes of other Division One schools, compete with athletics on that level, and be able to bring in fans and give them the experience of what that means to be at a Division One school, to to have the atmosphere of a Division One game, and get excited about those kinds of athletics. So they feel that it makes it more attractive, even if you're not an athlete, to come to a school because you want to have that experience of getting uh, getting behind those teams um, that are competing on that level. All right. So everything now for uh, UWGB and quite frankly, for the last two years since they've known about this has been moving forward. How forward looking are both the chancellor and the AD and what are they excited about moving forward? Oh, big time. You know, we've got a new men's basketball coach. They uh, say that they are extremely excited about that program. They are extremely excited about the high school athletes that they've recruited this year that they feel are going to be quite a joy for fans to watch and get behind. So they are really excited about everything moving forward. In fact, they say that funding for programs um, has never been better. So, you know, this all happened uh, in the interim between when uh, Moon and Alexander came on. So, you know, they say that they've got a good thing going right now and they are excited to give both fans, athletes, and, and also students um, the division of being in a Division One school and a D Division One programs. All right, Holly, thanks so much for that update. Still to come.